to this happy place, welcome. Disneyland is your land. Here age relives fond memories of the past. And here youth may savor the challenge and promise of the future. Disneyland is dedicated to the ideals, the dreams, and the hard facts that have created America. With the hope that it will be a source of joy and inspiration to all the world. Thank you. Your attention, please. The Disneyland Limited, now arriving from a trip around Walt Disney's Magic Kingdom. Passengers will stand by to board. And believe me, things couldn't be any better than they are today. The world has never had a, a good definition of the word liberty. Ledsman, sound off! Bob the Bob. Bob one. Bob twin. Give me a little intro there, Gomer. I felt that there should be something built, some kind of a an amusement enterprise built where that the parents and the children could uh, have fun together. Hey, Michael, me amigo. Pay attention, it's Joe time. This is the Global Broadcasting Service. Secure ship for sea. Welcome, space travel. Hello. Welcome to the moon. Come on, everybody. Here we go. Well, a beautiful tomorrow just to dream away. That says we're going places. There's progress ahead. Guest relations host, tour guide, VIP, Walt Disney was the first. We consider the appropriate, the available, and the achievable. In 1955, three hostesses were staffed at City Hall and called upon by a top management at any given time to give them a tour of Walt Disney's Magic Kingdom. Only three years later, guided tours would officially debut with nearly a dozen guides. They were known for putting their best foot forward, and we still strive to do so today. As one who is remembered fondly for supervising and shaping guest relations, Cecily Rigdon recalls that any time Walt came to the parks, he would always stop by and see us and talk to us. Cecily may have said it best when talking about Walt and the importance of Disneyland, saying Walt was just a very decent, very nice man. And I believe that is reflected in all of us here at Disneyland, and that this place for family and fun and decency is what it's all about. No matter what knowledge you have acquired, we are all first and foremost guest relations cast members. As guest relations hosts and hostesses, we have experienced many wonders throughout our duration within this department, with both cast members and guests. Here we have Shirley back in 2009 with Marty Sklar, when he came and spoke at the Main Street Opera House specifically to speak with all those in guest relations. Granny was commenting about trying not to be late, at a time before you could shift trade or pay yourself to avoid points, Granny was close to going down the rabbit hole because of her tardiness. Because she is so beloved by so many, she was able to continue to make magic for the years to come. This picture of Shannon was taken by a VIP guest seated at North Spoke to watch the fireworks on Halloween night, making it an extra special moment for Shannon. As she posed for the picture, she felt an overwhelming sensation of fulfillment that moment. Her leaders trusted her enough to allow her to hold such a privileged position, making it one of the happiest moments in her life. 
You can definitely see her showing her plaid pride. At the dedication night for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, Robin brought a family she was hosting onto Millennium Falcon's Smuggler's Run. One of the family members turned around and asked if she had yet taken a picture on the Falcon. After a lot of insisting from the family, they took this picture of her, laughing and a little anxious because she was worried about blocking the way. A snapshot was taken of her disbelief of how fortunate enough she was to be chosen to dedicate the new land. Here is Elena on opening day for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, a photo that means so much to her. She was the first opener of the new Gil kiosk located just off the planet of Batu. That same morning, she shook hands with our Disneyland Resort president, Josh De Amaro. They were both a part of true magic as guests took their first steps onto this new adventure. These are only but a few precious moments. Although there are many more, there are still countless memories waiting to be made. Disneyland has meant a great deal to many of us, and its wondrous magic pull us even closer than ever. With every story and every journey, there is always a once upon a time. You made it! Welcome to Disneyland! We are so proud of you! There I am with my little sister back in December of 2000 on our first trip to Disneyland. The only thing I even had remotely close to Disneyland was living next to Flushing Meadow Park. It wouldn't be until 2014 that I would return, this time on my honeymoon with my wife. And here we have Erica Shipcott meeting Snow White at a very early age. At age 14, Jessica went on her very first guided tour and was able to record this memory of herself on the former French lift of Club 33. This was the moment she realized that one day she will be a tour guide. And yes, that dream did come true. Meeting Mickey Mouse is an essential part of many who visit Disneyland. Such proof is that of these memories of little Jennifer Split and adorable Catherine Kerr. See the little guy happily wearing his Mickey Mouse ears? That's Patty on his first trip to Disneyland. Many years later, he would be creating magical moments as a cast member at Disneyland. On his first day as a cast member, his son and his son's friend proudly recorded such a precious memory. A picture of a mother with her two daughters on their first trip to Disneyland on January 7, 1956. Living in Los Angeles, it took them over two hours to get there. Almost 65 years later, it still takes about the same amount of time to get to Disneyland from Los Angeles. Who are they? The little girl wearing her favorite Davy Crockett shirt is Sandy Baldwin. She recalls that princesses were not the focus of the time. They were liked, but that's about it. Davy, along with Zorro and the Mickey Mouse Club, were the real thing. It was exciting programming. Sandy would later work in Fantasyland, and eventually end up making magic at Guest Relations. For almost 65 years, Precious moments have been dearly cherished. We continue to make more memories with those we hold dear to our hearts, as well as the friendships that we create every day. Julie. Thank you, Walt. This is my Disneyland hostess dress. And the little uh, 
And my official pin. Your badge. Right. Want to see mine? I'm number one. Secret oh. Service. <laughs> a pin was introduced. And today, we all humbly wear it as we uphold a welcoming presence to all. A tradition that has meant a great deal to many. An honor bestowed to those that have the desire to represent everything that Walt Disney's Magic Kingdom stands for. We continue that tradition of being goodwill ambassadors to hundreds of guests each day. We represent the department in a professional manner and uphold the integrity that it consisted with the image of the Disneyland Resort. In guided tours, we have welcomed guests to Disneyland, cultivated the magic, gone trick-or-treating for some happy haunts, took holiday cheer at the merriest place on earth, departed on a grand circle tour, and have taken a walk in Walt's footsteps. Along with the equestrian-inspired architecture, this theme allowed the guides to jockey to each land and tell the stories of the park. Walt lovingly referred to them as guest jockeys. These hostesses were popular among many, as they were known to be Walt Disney's personal representatives. Cecily Rigdon was responsible for Walt's apartment, and therefore known as the Keeper of the Keys. Today, a select few have been given the privilege of being a humble docent to that very special place, and they respectfully hold the title of Keeper of the Keys as they tell the story of the great storyteller, Walt Disney. After all, he himself said, of all things I've ever done, I'd like to be remembered as a storyteller. And so it continues today, as we here in Guest Relations hold on to the legacy. We are the storytellers that guide the way to magic. There's really no secret about our approach. We keep moving forward. We're always exploring and experimenting. Give the public everything you can give them. Keep the place as clean as you can keep it. Keep it friendly, you know, make it a, a, a real uh, fun uh, place to be. I think they're convinced, and I think that'll hang on after, if I, as you say, after Disney. more beautiful every year. I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing. 
It was all started by a mountain. All who come to this happy place, welcome. Disneyland is your land. When you wish upon a star Makes no difference who you are Anything your heart desires Will come to you Disneyland is such a special and beloved place by so many guests and cast members alike that it is a reminder that life can be full of such wonder and excitement. We just need to go after it. The stories, immersive experience, and exceptional guest service that we take to heart in guest relations has formed emotional connections with guests and cast members. In other words, we create magic that forms lasting memories. As Disneyland cast members, we have one common goal. We create happiness. Each of you are in guest relations because you bring specific qualities and unique talents to our department. Even through the hardest times, just remember, it's not goodbye, but a very simple. See you real!